Today we'll show you how to modify LED flashlight that use AAA alkaline batteries in a cartridge like this and turn it into one that can use lithium ion batteries. Let's get started. There are a lot of small LED flashlight that use AAA alkaline batteries in a cartridge like this. Either it has three AAA or four AAA batteries. That's one thing I don't like about AAA batteries in these cartridges is that they tend to leak a lot and after they leak out the electrolyte they tend to corrode the terminals and it will make the terminal not conductive anymore and the next time you replace this battery uh, it's not working anymore because the terminal is no longer conductive and as you can see here it doesn't matter what brand it is aftermarket or Duracell brand they all leak and corroded and damaged the terminals and that is the end of the flashlight because I can't use this anymore this cartridge of 3 is 4 and a half volts this is cartridge of 4 which is 6 volts but both of these will work with a single lithium ion battery which is around 4 volts both of these cartridges have the same length as a 14500 or an 18500 and therefore they will fit perfectly in the flashlight let's try the 14500 battery first it's a little bit skinny so I take a piece of foam and wrap it around the battery so that it will stay in the center when I put it in there we go it's working let's try the 18500 battery on this flashlight. This one has a bigger diameter because the cartridge has four AAA battery. So I take a piece of paper and wrap it around the inside so that it will fit this battery in. Works perfectly. So if you have a 14500 or an 18500 battery they will fit perfectly inside these LED but what if you have an 18650 is it gonna fit? let's find out very tight yeah I can't screw it in and this silicone is slipping it doesn't seem to fit inside this flashlight if I line this up here you can see the bottom of the battery go past beyond the bottom part of this black plastic here so that's why I can't even screw it in this battery is way too long an 18650 battery has much more capacity than these two batteries but it is a lot cheaper than this battery and that's because just simple economics this battery is everywhere whereas these two you can barely see them anywhere I salvaged this from an electronic toothbrush this one is from an electric shaver like this here this is a Braun Series 7 and I believe the series 7, 8 and 9 they all use this battery here, the 18500. A replacement for these two is much harder to find and costs about $10 each. Whereas an 18650 batteries, they are everywhere and you can service them for free. From USB power bank to laptop batteries to power tool battery and almost everything else that runs on battery they usually have 18650 batteries inside so why not use something we can get for free and it also has much more capacity than these right so let's modify this flashlight to run on 18650 battery the 18650 battery is 15 millimeter longer than the 18500 which fits in here and therefore in order for this to fit in here we need to extend the case of the flashlight 
15 mm longer. The case of the flashlight is also a negative terminal of the battery. So if you want to extend this part of flashlight, it has to be made of metal, not plastic. So instead of doing this, let me show you an easier way to fit the 18650 in here without having to extend the flashlight. I'm going to modify the bottom of this flashlight. Let me show you how. Almost all of them have the same design. So remove this rubber cover here. Inside we got a switch. Next we need to remove this piece of black plastic out. We can push from the bottom but it's very hard to come out. I tried with a flathead screwdriver and I tried to pry it out but it still doesn't want to come out. I'm going to use a socket to push it out. This is size 3 8 of an inch. There we go. It's very, very tight in here. So don't use a flathead screwdriver to pry it out. It's going to either break the plastic or your screwdriver. Now we can pry the switch out. Just like that. We don't need this part anymore. We only need the switch. Now we're going to put the rubber cover back in. Now let's take a look at the switch here. It's got two sides. One has a short section, one has a long section. The short section is the part that is connected to the aluminum case. The long section connects to the negative end of the battery. This long section must not connect to the aluminum case, otherwise it will defeat the purpose of the switch. If this long section is connected to the side of the aluminum case here, the flashlight will always be on. So what I'm going to do is to take a piece of tape and cover this longer section here so that it doesn't touch the side of the aluminum case. This is the part that connects to the battery so I'm going to bend it up a little bit to make sure that it has a good connection to the negative terminal of the battery. That's one thing very important about the switch. You can see the sides of the switch here. This piece of metal it's sticking up beyond the base of the plastic probably about one millimeter and that is touching the battery bottom and it staring off my battery sleeves as you can see here if this touches the bottom of the battery which is a negative terminal the flashlight will be permanently on and it will defeat the purpose of the switch so you want to prevent this short part of the metal from touching the bottom of the battery I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver and push it down now you can see it's being pushed down below the bottom of the uh, base of the plastic but it still extends to the side enough to touch the metal aluminum case and let's give it a try let's put it in you can see it's touching the side of the aluminum case but it doesn't protrude up too much it's flush with the bottom of the plastic base now we can just put the battery in here. Beautiful. So there you have it, how to hack into LED flashlight that use AAA batteries and use them with lithium ion batteries instead, especially with 18650 batteries. That's all I have for now folks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.